The only true cure for climate change is mitigation to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions in our atmosphere. But scientists fear that even the world's most aggressive mitigation goals may fall short. The magnitude of the warming, even if all the nations do what they say they're going to do, um, is going to double or maybe even triple the warming that we've experienced to date. CSU professor Jim Hurl says we need to have as many options as possible to combat climate change should the worst case scenario play out in the future. One of those options is called climate intervention, where humans deliberately manipulate the atmosphere in an attempt to correct the mistakes that led to climate change. So we are not advocating, no climate scientist is advocating that we actually do climate intervention at this point in time, but we feel that it's important to do the research on this. Hurl says scientists at Colorado State University have teamed up with other atmospheric scientists along the front range to research a type of climate intervention called solar reflection or solar geoengineering. It involves putting tiny reflective particles high in the atmosphere that would reflect some of the sunlight away from Earth mimicking the natural effects of a large volcanic eruption like Mount Pinatubo in 1991. The planet can cool down by maybe half a degree Celsius from just one volcanic eruption. And that cooling effect can last for many months or maybe even a year and a little bit longer, maybe a year and a half. Hurl says scientists already know this technique would work, that it would completely reverse the warming that humans have caused over the past 100 years. But what is not clear are the possible side effects. He says if you tamper with one part of nature, you can expect a reaction in another part. Hence the importance that the research starts sooner than later. If it turns out that the impacts from climate intervention are bad, that the risks outweigh the benefits, and we don't want to do it, the best way to convince people not to do it is through the research. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. Last March, the National Science Academy published a proposed agenda for how climate intervention research should move forward. Professor Harrell was on that committee, and he says scientists at CSU are already researching this topic. 